for much of the week. And while it's important for us to stay hydrated and cool during the summer, don't forget about your pet pets. In fact, dogs and cats are more susceptible to heat related illness than we are. Meteorologist Ross Runner has expert advice on how to make sure your four legged friends stay safe. Virginia summers are notoriously hot and humid, and our pets are particularly at risk because unlike humans, they are unable to sweat to help cool themselves off. Dr. Alex Ent from the Susan Markell Veterinary Hospital at the Richmond SBCA says that certain breeds of dogs are much more susceptible to heat-related stress. We definitely think about our, what we call brachycephalic or um, short-faced dogs, like our pugs, English bulldogs, um, boxers, Frenchies, Boston Terriers. Those ones are going to be extra susceptible to heat just because their breathing is not as efficient. Those at highest risk are our senior animals, those with a heart condition, breathing problems, or other pre-existing health conditions. Animals with dark colored fur or thick coats will become overheated much more quickly than those with short hair or light colored fur. And never, ever leave your pet alone in a car on a hot day. Even with the windows rolled down because the, the heat inside that car is going to be so much more than like outside. And heat exhaustion can take, um, can take as little as sometimes 15 to 20 minutes, you know, depending on how hot it is. So how do we know that our pet may be suffering from heat exhaustion? If they start to have a lot of drooling, if their panting starts to get a lot heavier, um, if you're seeing that they're seeking out the shade, that they're becoming intolerant to exercise, you know, that they're slow slowing down and showing that they're not wanting to kind of move forward. At this point, get them inside with air conditioning and plenty of water. If you start to see more severe symptoms such as vomiting or diarrhea, this could be signs of heat stroke and you'll want to get them to the vet right away. If your dog or cat has to be outside, make sure they have shade and plenty of cool water to drink to stay hydrated. They should also have a way to get inside the house if they need to cool down. For your high energy dogs on a hot day, doing as much as you can to just directly interact with them inside the house, you know, whether that be with their toys, um, playing, um, even doing tricks, you know. For a lot of dogs, that high energy is from, from that mental component, right? If they need something just to occupy that brain space. When you do walk your dog, make sure you do it early in the morning or late in the evening to avoid the hottest part of the day. And as much as possible, walk your dog on the grass to avoid the hot asphalt because that can burn your pet's paws. If you can't walk on it with your bare feet, neither can they. For 12 on your side, I'm meteorologist Ross Runner. Good advice.